All right, everybody, and welcome. Uh, my name is Josh Corb, and we're going to talk about 20 Chromebook apps that I think are essential in any classroom. So you don't have to incorporate them all, but maybe just pick out a few that you like and give it a shot. So this is 20 apps in 10 minutes. Let's go. Number one is Huda Math. Again, these aren't in any really specific order. I'm not ranking them. I'm just giving you 20 of my favorites. So Huda Math is a great way to go if you're trying to spark that learning um, curve for your students within the math classroom. So we take all these math terms, math vocabulary, math skills, put them into a game format, boom, students love it. So who to math, there's a ton of great math games online and it's all for free with no registration, no accounts whatsoever. They just go on, play and learn. So check it out, who to math. Number two, Moby Max. This is one that a lot of districts are using. I know that my district is using it right now, so make sure that you check it out. It's an entire comprehensive curriculum for K-8 to math in English language arts. That also includes progress monitoring and a bunch of other neat tools that you can use to systematically uh, differentiate your classroom through this program. There's a bunch of apps that are pre-installed for it, uh, so check it out, Moby Max. Number three is Edpuzzle. So make sure you check out Edpuzzle. It is a great, great tool to use in your classroom. Um, if you want to try the flip learning environment or a hybrid learning, um, Edpuzzle lends itself to that. So Edpuzzle, what it does, you take a, a video online. You can create it. You can grab somebody else's off of YouTube or uh, LearnZillion or Khan Academy, whatever. Make it your own. Explain it with your own voice, embed quizzes, and make it an interactive learn learning experience rather than just direct instruction with a video. It takes flipped learning to the next level. Check out Edpuzzle. Great tool to use. Number four is 100,000 stars. It's exactly what it is. We're taking a look at our observable universe through the lens of like a planetarium. So we take this interactive 3D visualization of the stellar neighborhood. It includes over 100,000 nearby stars. You can move it around, 3D representations of those stars and constellations, and it's just amazing. It's a really cool tool. It'll really hook your kids, especially if you're talking about astronomy within your science class um, or just a lesson in general about space. Check it out, 100,000 stars. Let's keep going. Number five is Time Maps. It's the most comprehensive world history atlas on the Internet. That's what they claim to be, and it holds true because if you check it out, you can actually cl click on any country, any point during time, and see what is going on. Um, say today in the United States, 70 years ago, you can see what's going on in history. It's a very comprehensive one, interactive, where you can uh, – pull the timeline back and forth, see what's happening to the countries. And it, again, really good tool to use in the history classroom. Vocabulary spelling city, exactly what it is. You're learning to spell various vocabulary words. So if you're a teacher who gives out spelling tests, if you assign 10 or 20 words a week for your students to learn, memorize, and know how to spell, this is a great tool for them to use. Um, students could play learning games, activities, flashcards, and more with their spelling words that you've given them. So you load it up, they practice it, they do better on the test. So check it out, Vocabulary Spelling City, if you're not already using it. Number seven is Me Genius. Read, personalize, and share enhanced children's books. And every single book that they have on there, which they have thousands of books that are preloaded on there, and a lot of them are for free, you can check it out. Every single book, you're able to uh, read along with the story. The story can be read to you while all the words are being highlighted as they're being read. So this builds that literacy skill and reading skills for those younger students. So check it out. Me Genius. It's on the Chrome Web Store. Padlet. Padlet is basically a bulletin board on your computer. It's the easiest way to create and collaborate in the world. It's very visual. You can import images, videos, documents, text, really anything with the URL as well. Uh, you can embed right directly into a Padlet. This is great if you want to show and showcase uh, student work, if you want them to uh, research a topic, put all this information together. Really cool tool to use. Padlet, it's like an online bulletin board. It works like a sheet of paper, but you can put anything, anywhere, with anyone on it. Number nine, Kid Rex. Think Google for kids. It's a child safe search engine powered by Google Custom Search and utilizes Google Safe Search to keep students out of inappropriate websites. They also have their own database that they keep record of inappropriate sites so they know to block it for students when they're on there. It's not technically a Chrome app, 
but a, definitely a good tool to use if you want your younger students searching the internet for stuff uh, for research. Number 10, Kaizena. So Kaizena makes it easy for teachers to give high quality feedback and stu on student work. This is going to be more geared to students who are already typing, um, who have basic typing skills and writing skills, uh, but you can try it at any level. Basically, instead of you marking up a paper with a red pen, you can actually give them audio and uh, audio verbal feedback or attach some resources for them to use to make some corrections on their assignment. Um, they submit it to you, so this may be more of a 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, and high school grade-wise, uh, more appropriate, but try it out in the younger levels. Let me know how it goes. So number 10 was Kaizena. Number 11 is Carrot Sticks. Basically, for 1st through 5th graders, it's a great way to practice computational skills with math. So adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing, plus a bunch of other features, um, you're just practicing those skills, plus you're competing against other people, not only in your classroom, but around the world, carrot sticks. Number 12, sight words. It's a great way to promote learning of various sight words, um, and this is an app for preschool to primary age students where they can just literally hear words as you go. So they flip through, I think, about 40 to 50 uh, just sight words. Just keep practicing, repetition, 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 and we see all the sight words that we can be given. Number 13 is Mind Mup. If you do mind mapping in your classroom, brainstorming, this is a great site to use. It's like an interactive whiteboard, uh, but specifically for mind maps. So check it out, Mind Mup on the Chrome Web Store. Number 14 is Socrative, an, a, an interactive uh, student response system where you can put in quizzes, quick polls, exit tickets, and make races out of it where students answer questions, multiple choice, short answer, essay, any kind of question that you want, you can put into Socrative and get student feedback. Number 15, Khan Academy. Man, I could spend an entire video on Khan Academy. They have over 3,600 videos online plus uh, practice exercises, instructional videos, like I said, and personalized learning dashboard. Um, it makes learning easier for students, and it takes them from where their level is up. So check out Khan Academy. It's a great resource. You could spend, I could spend an entire day talking about it. So check it out, Khan Academy. Um, yeah, as we go, 16, Class Dojo. A lot of people are already using this. This is a way for behavior management of your classroom or reward, reward those students who are doing great and not reward those students who aren't doing great in your classroom behavior-wise. So this can keep your class under control a little bit better. Um, it captures, generates data based on uh, behavior, and you can share that with parents and administrators as well. So keep everybody in the loop, Class Dojo, behavior management, Let's go. 17, Paltoon. Paltoon is cartoons, uh, but it's animated. So it, it's a you're creating visual presentations. Your students can hop on, create their own Paltoons, um, and it's it's interactive cartoons. So again, check it out. Paltoon on the Chrome Web Store. Number 18, Real Time Board. If you want to collaborate with a bunch of people all at once. Real-time board is the way to go, especially when your students are creating stuff visually, visual presentations, vis visual posters, interactive posters. Real-time board is really cool. Originally designed for businesses, but has spread into the uh, classroom design as well. Typing web. It's basically typing tutor. You are gaining keyboarding skills as you go through. Lessons, games, tests, certifications are all given to students, all for free. Um, practice their keyboarding skills and get them up to par on their Chromebook. And lastly, probably the most powerful is actually Google itself. You have Google Classroom, Google Forms, Sheets, Docs, Slides, and so much more that Google offers um, that it has become one of the powerhouses in the Chromebook or actually just internet industry. So check out Google, check out Google Apps for Educators. If your district is on it, like mine is, uh, there's so many cool things that you can do with it and there's so many ways to bring students uh, to the learning and bring learning to them. So check out Google and all that it has to offer. Again, this has been Josh Korb, and this was 20 apps in 10 minutes. Have a good day. Just try something new. That's all we ask.